Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is NSXT Data Center Installation, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we start in vCenter Server and you can see from here we're just in the wholesome clusters view. We have a vCenter Server with a single data center and two clusters. We're going to put it in the first cluster which has three hosts and we're going to deploy an OVF template. So we can deploy an OVS template from a URL, if we have it there, but I've already downloaded this and have it in a local file. So I'm going to browse to that local file. So I have two OVAs, one for the edge and one for the management appliance. It's the management appliance that I want to deploy to get an NSX manager. So it's found the OVA. And now we need to give the appliance a name probably something a little bit simpler than the default. So I'm going to call that NSX Manager 41 and put it on an IP address of dot .41. So I'm going to put my first NSX Manager on my first ESXi host. And I've got four different options for sizes. Actually, in, in a, on an on-premise, I've actually only got three, but we'll go through those. So the large is 12 vCPUs, 48 gig of RAM, and 300 gigs worth of storage. That's for the large. The medium has six vCPUs, 24 gig of RAM, and 300 gigs worth of storage. The one we're going to use is this small one, which is fine for a home lab. Four vCPU, 16 gig of RAM, 300 gig of storage. And there is another option of an extra small, but when we look at the description for that, this is only for NSX Cloud Service Manager. So as we're doing a local on-premise install, uh, the extra small isn't suitable for us. So we're going to go for small. This is fine for NSX manager or global manager, but basically the smallest practical size in an on-prem environment. So we'll go for small. I'll pick a, a disc for that to go on. Uh, the network is going to be standard switch 0, VLAN 0, and I'm going to give it a static IP address. So a couple of properties here. Now the password requirements for NSX Manager are much stricter than for other products. It's a minimum of 12 characters, or with the usual upper lower alien graffiti type requirements. Um, so what most people do here is just copy their existing password twice if it's just for a home lab. Um, if it is for a production environment, obviously you would want to use something more secure than that. But for me, uh, when I'm doing this in the home lab, I just use uh, my vSphere password twice. We're going to stick with the default use of admin and audit. And then we're going to put in the host name. The next box is where we pick the role. This is going to be our NSX manager. We also need to give it a site name. This is my first one, so I'm just going to call it site one. And then the default gateway. A management IP. And then a net mask for um, the, so the IP I'm going to use is that dot forty one. I try and keep the VM name and the IP address reasonably sensible. Do 
on a slash 24. Local DNS server, because I've done forward and reverse lookup on this DNS server on a domain called lab.local, which is my home lab uh, DNS runs using the DNS package on a couple of Synology NASIs. found that was the easiest way of setting up a forward and reverse DNS for a home lab. Uh, space, a separated list of NTP servers. Always important, but even more important when it comes to network and security products. Things that are very particular about accurate time and date. Especially for logs and the sequence of events. I'm not going to do anything with SSH and root logins. So there are some internal settings uh, that it tells me to leave alone, which I have done. Um, however, I don't seem to have a next button working. So I'll click a couple of things. Again, doesn't seem to be working. I don't know why I haven't got a next button here. I think it's because my browser has automatically put a, uh, a password in those fields. So there's another one here, again, that says don't enter anything in this field so yeah I think my browser has just again put a um, auto filled that for me and as soon as I take that out I can now proceed with the next button so an overview just there of the settings we've picked and now I can deploy that with the finish button You'll see there's a warning message there, that's from a previous version of NSXT, uh, a beta version that I didn't remove properly, um, so I'll, I'll get rid of that once we're installed. So it's now pushing out the OVF to NSX Manager-041, and we'll just time lapse it here, and come back to it when it's installed. So it's installed, if I click on the NSX Manager now, power it on and then just make sure it's booting so it's just about to start booting up now now I would say here give it at least 20 minutes I would say probably go and make yourself a drink or get something to eat but give this a while before you come back to it it's just going to configure itself and eventually presume a web interface which we will log into in the next video and we need to hit that web interface on HTTPS so this was NSX T data center part of the vSphere 7 home lab series